Hello, everybody. So there's been a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that's been going on in the past few days in old school RuneScape, and I wanted to make a video uh, clarifying some things and giving some of my own thoughts. Um, there's been a lot of uh, controversy and stuff going on because of the uh, ban of auto hotkeys, and I wanted to make things clear because there's a lot of misconceptions about you know the differences between auto hotkeys and Windows mouse keys and uh, I think that there's some flaws in the specifics of the rules that they've set out right now. So first things first, I'm doing some fishing right now. I'm going to just be AFKing um, most of this video so that I can focus on talking. But um, I have not used wind uh, or sorry, I've not used auto hotkeys since uh, was it Wednesday when they said that it's not allowed anymore. Um, and right now I am using Windows mouse keys, which they've said is allowed in any capacity. And I'm going to drop this inventory exactly the same way that I would have with uh, auto hotkeys. So the way that I'm using Windows mouse keys, I have it set up so that when control is held down, it will move the mouse a certain number of pixels when I press a key. This is how Windows mouse keys has always worked. People have been using Windows mouse keys for over a decade in RuneScape, and they've always said that it's acceptable to use Windows mouse keys. And it does allow you to jump a certain number of pixels instantaneously with a single key press. So I can go like this. And I can drop an inventory that quickly. That is using Windows mouse keys. See right here, I have the Windows mouse keys settings right here. Uh, I have Windows mouse keys turned on. Um, and you can adjust how far the mouse will move by adjusting this slider. So if I move it over to here and uh, hit apply, then when I right click and drop down, it will go like further down than the drop option. and. This is how Windows mouse keys has always worked. In order to be able to do this properly, you have to go into the ease of access center and go to, uh, you have to go and turn on sticky keys also, and you might have to turn on filter keys, um, depending on how it works for you. But turning on sticky keys makes it so that you can have keys held down. So I have the control key permanently held down right now, which is why when I try to rotate my camera, I can't because control is held down. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, I, well, now I have to adjust the settings back for dropping again, but um, you can use Windows mouse keys to do the exact same thing that people were doing doing with AHK, and that's the point that I've been trying to make and that so many people fail to understand. It seems like some of the people at Jagex think that people were only using Windows mouse keys to move the mouse, um, like using like pressing and holding a key. Like, like with Windows mouse keys, I can press and hold a key on my numpad and see it will move the mouse really slowly and it'll start to get a little bit faster and you'll notice it only moves in one direction. I could do it diagonally, and it's kind of like having like a keypad controller for your mouse. And this is, you know, what mouse keys was mostly designed for by Windows, but you can have it set up so that when you hold control down and press the key, it moves a certain number of pixels. And this is how Windows mouse keys has always worked. This is how Windows mouse keys has always been used in RuneScape because being able to press and hold the key and have your mouse move is not useful at all in RuneScape unless it's jumping a certain number of pixels. So all the people that were saying, you know, AHK is cheating, AHK is botting, people are making it so they can move their mouse a certain number of pixels with just a single key press. That's what people have been doing with Windows mouse keys since day one, and that's what they, Jagex has said is allowed. So people, there are a lot of people that were using AHK to replicate this. Uh, people were making scripts where they would map a key to a mouse move down like 36 pixels, which is about how far you want to go for dropping items. I'm mapping a key to a left click. This is how I personally use AHK, um, and the reason for this is because Windows Mouse Keys is a really inconvenient program to use. Windows Mouse Keys is not very customizable at all. Um, it, is force, it forces you to use the numpad, which is on the far right side of the keyboard, and for people who are right-handed like me, I much prefer to have my left hand on the left side of the keyboard so that I can rest it comfortably on my table or on my armrest or whatever on my chair. Um, I have gotten around this by just using my keyboard software to remap keys up in the top left of my keyboard to uh, the, the numpad keys, which Jagex has said is allowed. Um, so that's nice anyways. Um, it also doesn't have very good customization in, how, in the exact number of pixels that the uh, mouse pointer will move down because it's just a slider rather than like a input field for set number of pixels. And the biggest problem with it is that you have to have control held down to do these mouse movements. And when control is held down, the escape key doesn't work because control plus escape will just uh, activate the Windows key basically and open up the uh, the start menu 
um, control plus mouse wheel button won't rotate the camera. And whenever you have control held down and you go over to your browser and start typing something in, it'll start doing a million keyboard shortcuts and fuck everything up. And it's just these kind of annoying little inconveniences that push that push people to use AHK instead because they figured, you know, if they're saying Windows mouse keys is acceptable in any form and we're using it to do these a set number of pixel drop down mouse movements, why wouldn't we be able to do the exact same thing with a different program and then we don't have to deal with all this stupid control shit? So I think this is the core misunderstanding that so many people have about Windows mouse keys and AHK users. All these people, including uh, JMods, are saying people who are using AHK were botting and everybody who used AHK was botting. When in reality, like 99% of the people that were using AHK were using it to replicate the features of Windows mouse keys without the hassle that comes along with Windows mouse keys. And this is where so many people went wrong and didn't understand what was going on basically. And that, you know, some of you might see, might have seen the statement that I said on my stream where I said Mod Matt K has no fucking idea what he's talking about. I was a little bit heated and I do apologize for being kind of rude. But it just was so frustrating to me when Mod Matt K was saying all this stuff about how anybody who's using AHK was botting, when like the vast majority of the high level community, like probably 95% of the high level community, if not higher, used AHK to replicate Windows mouse keys and get around the inconveniences of it because they'd said so many times that Windows mouse keys was acceptable. And he was basically saying that like all of his high level players in the game are cheating and that just, you know, obviously that doesn't come off well to us telling us that we're all cheaters when we've been doing things that Jagex has said is allowed for, you know, over a decade. So I really hope you guys understand that. You can do, you can make your mouse move a set number of pixels with Windows mouse keys. And that's the biggest thing that I feel like so many people don't understand. So hopefully that is clear to you guys. I mean, if you think that, if you think that being able to move your mouse a set number of pixels with a single key press is cheating in a way, then I guess fair enough. But make the dis like understand that mouse keys can do the exact same thing as what most people were doing with AHK. And that being said, a lot of people were using AHK to cheat because you can make a script where you press one key and it does like five actions in a row or it drops like your entire inventory. You could even write a full on bot using AHK. And obviously this is problematic and nobody thought that this was acceptable. The distinction that all of the high level community made was if you're using AHK, one input to one output, doing basically the same things as Windows mouse keys can do, then what's the problem with that if Windows mouse keys can do it? Anything further than that, everybody agreed, except for the people that were doing it, maybe, and even they probably agreed that that's cheating, they shouldn't be doing that, that's macroring, that's botting, and they should be banned. Everybody agrees that those people should be banned, but it's really important to understand the distinction between people who are using AHK to bot and people who are using AHK to do the same things as Windows mouse keys. So yeah, I really hope that that clarifies things to a lot of people. That's how Windows mouse keys works. That's how AHK was used by most people. Um, and they're now saying that AHK is bannable in any form ex unless you're using it just to map keys to other keys. Um, so I haven't used AHK at all since they said that it's bannable. I've just been using Windows mouse keys instead. It's not that bad. It's just more annoying because of all the stuff that I talk about that comes with it that AHK can solve, um, but I can use it. It's fine. I can deal with it. And people are even figuring out ways where you could potentially have more than one uh, drop down distance using mouse keys. Because the biggest, th like the biggest difference between the way that I used AHK and the way that you can use mouse keys is that I would have one key that would drop the mouse down to the drop option, and I would have a different key that would drop the mouse down like further, like to the fourth option here. And that was useful for like if you want to have a script where you can. Uh, be dropping items or emptying pouches and be also uh, moving the mouse down the right number of pixels for banking. Um, and mouse keys can't do this simply because it only has like a set mouse movement distance. You have to adjust that slider if you want it to be different. But that being said, there are also diagonal buttons on mouse keys where like you can move it down like this or you can move it down like this. And if you just press those in quick succession, then you'd be moved down like twice as far basically. So you can press like two keys to get down twice as far and still pretty much replicate that same functionality. But once again, it's like a little bit less convenient than just using AHK to map one key to that. And that being said, if they clarified that like using more than one drop down distance is considered bannable, but only one drop down distance isn't, then I would abide by that. I don't really think that that's a very logical rule because like, <laughs> where do you, like I think anything that's not one to one is fine is not fine obviously and should be banned but I mean if you're moving the mouse x number of pixels or y number of pixels like 
where why is that a line that should be drawn it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but if they say that's against the rules i will respect that so the jmods have talked about some potential uh solutions to this uh and some have come in the form of uh holding shift and then just left clicking to drop or having like a drop all option or uh another suggestion that a lot of people have offered is in-game mouse keys which in my opinion would be the best solution if you really think about it like shift click dropping is one input to drop an item and with one-to-one -one AHK or mouse keys, it's a right click, a drop down, a left click. So it's three inputs to drop an item. So people who are saying that, you know, AHK is so overpowered and all this kind of stuff, for one thing, mouse keys is the same exact thing. And for another thing, a single input to drop an item versus three inputs to drop an item, <laughs> which do you think is more overpowered? Like people, people are just making all these decisions and making up their mind over assumptions that are completely false and they don't actually understand the specifics of the issue. And I feel, in my opinion, shift-click dropping would just be a massive change to the core of how the game works, and I really don't like that idea at all. Um, but the idea of in-game mouse keys I think would be fantastic, because Jagex would have clear control over what uh, players are allowed to do. They could say that anything outside of that is bannable, and it would be very, very simple. Everybody who can play the game can use any feature that's within the game. Another big problem that I didn't mention earlier with the rule about only operating system-specific mouse key programs is that Windows has mouse keys, Mac has some kind of mouse keys, but it doesn't have the ability to jump your mouse a certain number of pixels like the Windows one does, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in that, because I don't use Mac, but that's what people have told me. Um, so obviously Mac users are at a, a significant disadvantage to Windows users, and that's based on something completely separate from the game, which seems pretty unfair. And then there's Linux, who who even fucking knows? Like you can you can get a version of Linux that probably has AHK pre-installed, and then you know is that allowed? And like the rule is really uh, ambiguous in that sense, and also doesn't put people at an even playing field in terms of their operating system, their software, their hardware, that kind of thing. Another thing is that if you if you uh, don't have a numpad on your keyboard, which a lot of like compact laptops and stuff don't have, then you're not really going to be able to use mouse keys because you need a numpad. And so based on your hardware, now you're limited much more than other players are. And like, is that more fair than allowing people to use AHK to do the same functions and they can map their own keys rather than having to deal with a numpad and that kind of thing? And there are keyboards on Mac, or sorry, there's programs on Mac and Linux and stuff that can do basically the same thing that AHK or mouse keys was doing. So yeah, if they implemented in-game mouse keys, they could basically just make it so you can, you can choose like, I don't know, somewhere between two and like five mappings that you can do where you can map a key to either a left click, a right click, or moving the mouse a set number of pixels in a certain direction. And this would replicate the exact same functionality as Windows mouse keys, and it would allow players to use that functionality no matter what hardware or software they have, and it would put everybody in an even playing field. People understand what they can do easily. They don't have to deal with third-party software to get benefits within the game, and people can continue playing the game exactly how they've been used to for so long and not have you know core changes to how the game works. And Maud Ronan has said on Twitter and Reddit and stuff that it seems like this is the idea that's getting the most support from what people are saying, and he's going to you know investigate it, talk about it with the team, and see if it's a possibility. Um, I think it would be fantastic. I think it would be a, a much better solution to this, this issue than even if they were to say that AHK is allowed again, because there were a lot of people that were cheating with AHK and not getting banned for it, and that's obviously a big problem. So yeah, like I don't think that this the, the changes that have happened are completely bad, um, because, you know, people who should have been getting banned weren't, but a lot of people who have been doing things that I don't think deserve to be banned because they're just the same thing as Windows mouse keys are now being grouped together with all those people who were cheating. And I think that's the biggest problem with this whole conflict. So I really hope this video has clarified some things to you guys. Obviously, this is a really controversial topic, and I've been the person that people have been talking about probably the most in this sense since, yeah, I used AHK, I used it in the way that everybody considered was legal, and uh, just so many people, um, so many misconceptions. It's been really frustrating for that people just don't understand the truth of how HK was used and how Windows mouse keys can be used and is still being used and has always been used. Um, so yeah, hopefully this clarifies some things for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and. Uh, Hopefully we'll have some more developments from Jagex and they'll make some... I really hope that they, they go for the in-game mouse keys option, but if not, then I can keep using Windows mouse keys. It's just kind of annoying to use, but it works fine. They said it's legal and 
it's always been legal in the game for for a very very long time so that's what i'll keep using i guess um and it doesn't really change my gameplay that much because i was using ahk just to replicate those features without the hassle that comes with it and uh yeah i've rambled on long enough thanks for watching this video thanks for understanding i hope this clears some things up for you guys and i will see you guys all later